Hey, so what's up guys? This is Alex Lickletter, FD uh, Prospect Driver. I just wanted to take a minute and show you uh, my trailer, the inside. I'm going to give you a tour of my trailer uh, in case you are looking for some ideas on what you could do for your trailer. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's get right to it. So I, as soon as you walk in, you'll see this, uh, I think they call these like easy racks or whatever. And I have a wooden brace that goes across where I can sit uh, eight tires mounted to, to wheels. So when the car is in here, then I put that structure in and I can put some tires there. So that's nice. I have a grid wall. Um, this has spare parts because um, as you know in FD, we need to make sure that we have all the spare parts in case we break anything. Um, and to just have them here, the team can just come real quick. I even have the zip ties like you know showing you know i didn't cut them thin so that the guys can see exactly where it is and they can just cut it down and bring it out and get the parts that we need back on to get back on track um have a little table that's just strapped up against the wall i love i absolutely love sleeping at drifting events uh it's the grassroots in me i mean don't get me wrong when we're doing the big show with the team and the fd you know we, we definitely get you know an airbnb or some hotels but when i'm just doing some practicing events or grassroots events uh queen size matches just straight up just strapped across and, and when i want to go to sleep i just take the strap down and boom the bed just lays down so a lot of people don't realize that i have a fully functional tire machine so i have the tire machine the air compressor and generator uh all right here i even have a cheetah uh if we're having some trouble mounting up some tires so um this is a fully sustainable uh tire machine setup it is not the um, friendliest tire machine setup, I'm not going to lie, so it is a little bit of a struggle, um, but maybe we'll upgrade uh, the tire machine one day. Uh, you can see right here, I have um, two easy ups, one for um, at the pit and one for um, hot pits, so two easy ups there, got some gas cans, more spare parts up on the grid. Um, got some fans because in the summertime, your car after each run, you want to be able to come in, in the pits and blow through air through the radiator to help cool it off. Um, got some spare diffs laying around in here, all the power tools. Um, these are my suits. I've over the years, I've, I've gained additional suits here and there, so um, I just keep a uh, surplus of them here in case we have to go to a track that we want to do ride alongs and. You know the passenger would need a suit um i have two sparko bags one for gloves and one for boots so that's always just here really important to have a rain jacket because it seems to always rain when we go drifting all over the country so having a rain jacket is clutch um this is kind of like my product and merch stand that i will sit outside um to show people some of the merchandising that we sell and for all of you who know, uh, Aria has her own sign for all the fans to come out and give her love. So we have that. Um, we have a data sheet, so we it's really important to write down, you know, what event we're doing, the uh, bound, rebound, tire pressure, how many laps we're getting out of tires, all those kinds of things, and putting all this data together. Um, so when we come back to that track. In the future, we know exactly where we left off, so we're not wasting time trying to dial in the car. Um, so this is very, very important. Um, some more spare parts. We have a spare radiator. We're very fortunate to have a spare dog box. Uh, not a lot of drivers are able to have that, so it's really cool. Um, right here in the center, we have our toolbox. Um, I'm sure it's a little messy right now because it seems to always be. Got some NST t-shirts. What's up, Mike? Uh, but yeah, you can see we have all the tools that we need here uh, And actually we really do have all the tools that we need here, which is really cool And then finally we have all of our containers which really just kind of tell you what's inside of them uh, A lot of them are merch stuff, but we do have some spare smaller spare parts that we can't just put up on the, the uh, grid walls and stuff We have some specialty tools, you know that are in the boxes and stuff so and then we have our radio system here so guys can just go ahead and clip that up there it's done we got a couple different helmets across here and food food's really important <laughs> i get hangry at the track 
I don't know about you, but I got to eat. And when I need to eat, we need to be ready. So having a little camp kitchen, it's just one of those uh, Coleman, you know, flip up stoves. It's, it's nothing fancy, but it works in a pinch uh, if we don't have time to run out and get some food. And I'm always have little munchies here because I get angry. So, yeah, that's kind of about it. I uh, wired in a light switch for my lights so we can turn on lights uh, in the evening and stuff as we need it. But I just want to really take a time to take you on the tour and show you what an FD driver's trailer can look like. I'm sure there's some other guys who have fancier builds and maybe some that uh, are looking for inspiration on how to do their trailer. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd love to hear, uh, you know, maybe some recommendations of what I could do here with some extra space that I have. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.